Um, I try and recall really what I think it was quite mixed actually because the end of the group was so messy. I mean, we all we all sit and talk about those last sort of that last year, and we all wished it had been done a bit differently. You know, with Rob leaving, and it was just messy. If I'm really, I'm tr I'm trying to think back to this time because obviously sat here looking at photos and reminiscing and be being in the pl position I'm in today is a very nice one. Um, and I think when you look back at these times, you you seem to you look back at them very positively. But th this was not a, diff a, a an easy period for me. Um, I found the going solo exciting to start with, um, but I'd also been signed by Arista in, in the US, and Clive Davis had sort of taken over my A and R at that point, um, and it was tricky. It was tricky. Um, because he had a clear vision of how he wanted me to be and I had a clear vision of how I wanted me to be and it was it was quite different um, and so that was that was a struggle that was so I, I think you could almost cut this record into two the bit that Clive did and the bit that I did um, sort of in secret back here really it, it was wasn't an easy time but you know these these records that there's there's a story behind every one of them they're never easy to make records are because i think it's because they're done over a period you know no one makes a record in a week anymore um they're done over like a year if not more sometimes two years and so you know if you t if you take just life within two years some of it's good some of it's bad some of it's difficult some of it's easy um and that's what making a record's about and of course you know, it's like having children, the, the bad stuff, by the time they're six and seven, it's like, oh, this is, this child's an angel. I forgot about those nights where they didn't sleep for three months. So it's a bit like that, looking back over records.